Both guys, um, wh what, were you, uh, what were you expecting about this process and what has it been like for each of you? Uh, you know, it was, uh, didn't have too many expectations coming into the week. Um, you know, obviously with, with COVID, uh, it didn't happen the past couple of years, but, you know, I was just really excited to come down to Buffalo, uh, meet some NHL teams, and uh, it, it's been a really fun experience so far. Yeah, I think uh, for me, seeing Morgan kind of go through it all, um, pretty cool experience watching him come to Buffalo, kind of go through the same thing. Uh, lots of fun, lots of great opportunities, and, you know, you meet a lot of new guys along the way. It's just for both of you, what NHL player do you think your game most closely resembles? Uh, I like watching a guy like Braden Point, a uh, smaller guy, likes to possess the puck, is uh, fast, and I think he, he plays the game the right way. Uh, I think for me, uh, Leon Dreisaitl is someone I try and uh, accommodate to a little bit. Uh, the way kind of he possesses the puck, his vision, his IQ, I think that's something that I uh, really try and incorporate. For uh, Matthew, uh, can you talk about your play at center and at wing, like what you like, compare and contrast, how you feel like you play both positions? Yeah, I uh, definitely feel comfortable at both positions. Um, you know, the past two or three years, I've kind of flip-flopped back and forth consistently. So, um, you know, kind of leave it into, into the hands of my coaching staff and wherever they feel I, I, I best fit. Matthew, just what was it like to have kind of a normal year this year? And what was last year like for you? I guess you guys, you had the bubble and you played in the USHL. Just what was that experience like as well? Yeah, it was great to have a, a normal season this season and be back in Winnipeg. Um, you know, with, with the unknown of the Western League starting up last year and uh, it continuously getting pushed back due to COVID, I, you know, thought it was a good opportunity to, to go continue my development in the USHL and uh, specifically in Dubuque. And had a good experience down there it was a lot of fun but coming back to Winnipeg you know was really excited for for this season and uh made the most of it for sure it's for both of you uh what do you have to do to become an impact NHL player uh yeah I think uh kind of you know hard work compete all the cliches but I think for me it's just kind of be myself uh you know I got a lot of faith in my game uh, you know, getting stronger is something that I really want to work on this summer and uh, the upcoming summers for sure. Uh, but I think, you know, just driving my passion, you know, following what I want to do, my motivation uh, is pretty high when it comes to getting there. Yeah, for me, I think, you know, continuing to have uh, a really high work ethic, continuing to love and being around the rink, um, you know, I think are the biggest things. Uh, I have confidence in, in my play and my ability and, um, you know, just looking forward to, to making that jump. Anthony, what has James Patrick's uh, impact been in your career? Definitely a huge impact. Uh, playing so many years in the NHL, having that experience, you know, uh, he's, a, he's a true pro. Um, sorry. He's, uh, yeah, he definitely teaches you a lot in, uh, in all three zones. He's, uh, he's a strict coach. He likes to, uh, you know, ask a lot of his players, and I appreciate that. You know, I like a guy that wants me to be better and who, who pushes me to be my absolute best. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, what Krebsy's done for me is when you room with him in the bubble, you know, you see all his quirks and, you know, how mad we used to get on video games together. Um, but, he, you know, he's a pro. He works super hard. Uh, one of the hardest players I've ever, hardest working players, sorry, I've ever played with. Um, super great guy, super nice to be around. Uh, cracks a good joke once in a while, too. So I think uh, kind of more how he carried himself uh, was something that I really picked up on, how hard he worked. Um, and obviously his stuff on the ice is he's a pretty special player. You've both worked so hard to get to this point. What do you want teams to see in you? What are you hoping stands out? Um, you know, just our drive, our passion. Um, been around the game since I was two, three years old. Always loved it. Always grown up around it. So, um, you know, just being dedicated my whole life and, uh, you know, just, just NHL teams knowing how much I love it and how much I'm dedicated to it. Yeah, I think probably all the effort that I put forward, I think coming out of a small town, uh, I don't get much exposure to, I guess you could say, uh, some things. So, you know, growing up playing with seven girls, three boys on my team, I think that's something that really comes to heart. Um, you know, I want to know that 
uh, trying to put my place on the map as much as I can, but like uh, like Sav said, it's something that you know I've worked hard for a lot. Uh, my motivation for it is uh, you know endless, and I think it's always been a dream of mine. Um, question for both of you: uh, We're we're used to seeing top top prospects in the same team on the U.S. national program, but not so much in uh, in the CHL. Uh, I'm just curious to know what it's been like for for both of you to to go through that process together and whether or not you feel that it helped you uh, to uh, raise your uh, your value ahead of the draft. Definitely. It's been, uh, you know, a great experience all along the whole way with, with Geeks and I. Uh, you know, obviously really close friends, um, playing in Winnipeg and whatnot. But, you know, I think pushing each other to be the best possible players, um, you know, talking about the pressures that, that it takes um, and just how to control it. I think, you know, both of us are pretty calm and collected people, but... Uh, there's definitely a lot of pressure in, in the draft year and having another guy to kind of going through the exact same thing at the same time is it's good to have. Yeah, I think, you know, kind of like Sav said, it's it's a lot about, you know, the internal competition, I guess. Um, obviously, we're both super proud of each other wherever we go. I think, you know, in practice, uh, you know, even when we're on the bench in a game, you know, we're always making sure we're up to date. We're keeping each other going. I think that's something nice to have uh, going through this process. Uh, and again, it's having a resource, you know, when you come here, uh, having him, you know, when we're roommates and kind of going through it, flying on the plane together, uh, you become really close friends. And, you know, I'm kind of excited and happy that we got to go through it together. When these teams do interviews, we often hear that there's difficult or really unique questions. What were some of the questions that really stood out to you when you were talking to teams? Me? Yeah, get rid of you. Uh... I didn't really have many uh, weird questions this year. A couple about my brother, uh, just asking, you know, his journey, his path to the NHL, and um, obviously super proud of him. He just signed uh, his NHL contract a couple weeks ago, so uh, really close with my brother. Um, I'd say that's that's probably the most asked question I got. Uh, I think I w it wasn't so much the questions. I think the reaction when I told him my population of my town, uh, most of them got a good chuckle about that. Uh, but again, like Sav said, you know, a lot about your brother, you know, kind of the influence he's had on me. Uh, you know, super proud of him, you know, getting to go to Seattle, starting fresh. I think uh, that was probably the main thing. What, what is the population? Uh, 137, I think. <laughs> uh, just in the town. The, the municipality's got quite a bit more. Uh, but when you look it up, I think it says 700, but that's normally the municipality, so... What do you guys appreciate the most about each other's game? Uh, the way that Geeks, you know, possesses the puck, can control the game. He's obviously a big, strong guy, likes to have the puck on his stick. Uh, he's a dynamic player out there. He likes to make plays. Uh, he's just all around a, a really good threat in the offensive zone. I think for me, it's Seth's speed, uh, you know, getting to play with him. Probably the fastest player I've ever played with. Uh, you know, sometimes I even get lost trying to find him for a pass. But, uh, no, really good player, super good speed. Uh, you know, I think our abilities definitely intertwine with each other, and I think that's, you know, what makes us so good together. I just, uh, going back to the interview, uh, you know, a lot of these teams have very impressive front office personnel. Any nerves going into any of those meetings? Definitely some nerves, you know, you're going to meet with NHL GMs and head scouts and uh, assistant GMs, so, um, you know, pretty tough not to get nervous, but I think for me it was, it was more so excitement. Um, you know, I'm really grateful to be here. Uh, I put a lot of hard work, a lot of effort into, uh, you know, making this happen and was just, you know, super excited, super pumped to come down to Buffalo and, um, you know, meet some new faces. Yeah, I think when you're walking in the room with, you know, a lot of GMs, a lot of maybe ex-players who are scouts I think it's something you know you cherish you think is really cool um, again I think like Sav said it's more excitement uh, you know maybe you get a get the jitters walking into the room but um, by the end of it you know you're normally pretty calmed down but uh, like I like he said it's it's always a pleasure to come and do these things uh, it's a true honor it's pretty surreal to be able to come to Buffalo and you know kind of tour all this place and see how everything goes about so uh, super thankful to be here and uh, excited for the future. And for each of you, how would you sell, sell yourself to a team if they asked, why should why should you be chosen? 
I think, um, you know, my offensive abilities, my skating ability, uh, I think is what me, what makes me stand out as a player. Uh, I think I have good vision in the offensive zone, can make plays. Um, I'm always looking for whoever has the best chance to score. So uh, I think those are my biggest assets as a player. Yeah, I think me, uh, offensive zone, uh, you know, it's kind of where I strive uh, with my my IQ and my vision, I think my shot's up there too, but um, you know, the, my ability to see lanes I think is uh, second to none. Uh, and I try and put myself in the right spot uh, with my IQ, not being the fastest skater. Um, you know, I've really trusted my IQ and my vision to you know, make sure I'm in the right spot. And uh, like Seth said, we're always looking for each other uh, you know, on the ice, but even anyone who's got a better opportunity, I'm willing to pass it. Question for Connor. Uh, your name is kind of all over the place on different lists. On some of them, it's in the top five. On some uh, other, it's towards the end of the first round. Uh, why do you think that is? And how, how has it been confusing for you to see that? Yeah, I think, you know, everyone has their opinion, right? Um, I think it's something that you kind of just go about. I try not to let that stuff get in, get in the way. Um, you know, obviously, I, I have my beliefs. You know, I have my passion. But uh, you know, I wouldn't say it bothers me too much. I wouldn't say I'm, you know, too confused about it. Um, I think you just kind of got to go about it, right? You play hockey to have fun and work hard. Uh, you know, when people are putting you on lists, it's uh, it's obviously a pleasure when you get put, you know, top five or top ten. But again, you're you're playing hockey to play hockey. Hi, Connor. Uh, this is for you. Uh, just how does one? We've we've heard about your small town, and how does one aspire to get to this point? from a smaller town such as that and what might have been the bigger the, one of the bigger challenges you faced in making that move yeah I think uh, you know my dad obviously my parents my whole family grandma whatever grandpa I think you know whether it's them making me a pregame meal or them driving me to the rink I think all that stuff kind of adds up uh, and like like I said, I was super young when I got into hockey. I think two or three. Uh, watching both my brothers play growing up, you you always want to be that, uh, be better than them. <laughs> Third child genes, I guess you could say. But you know, try and get them, and you know, try and surpass them. But along the way, they they taught me a lot of things, whether it was hard work, humbleness. Um, so I think the biggest challenge was probably just um, almost maturing. I think uh, you know, you're from a small town. You know, you got to get used to players being better than you as you move up so you know when I got to summer hockey or stuff like that there's always going to be better players uh, and then when I got to play against this guy I guess I had to realize that too so uh, definitely you know maturing and growing up for sure. Um, just for both of you I'm curious there's a lot of top end Western Hockey League defensemen here who was the toughest defenseman you guys played against this season? From the draft class or yeah, just uh, I'll say Denton Matejchuk. Uh, smooth skating defenseman, breaks the puck out well, uh, has a good gap. He's he's really detailed in his own zone. He plays his system really well. Uh, he checks hard. He's you know he likes to make things happen out there. He's really good on the offensive side as well, carrying pucks up, breaking it out himself, and um, played Moose Jaw quite a bit this year. So found him really effective out there. Yeah, I think Owen Pickering is one guy that. Uh, I would say it was pretty hard to play against just with his size growing up against him. Uh, you know, he's really improved. Uh, you know, his skating is, is something that goes unnoticed for him being that big and him always maintaining your speed, maintaining your gap. Um, he's got a really good shot too, so I think just all around his IQ, his hockey sense, everything he's got, uh, he's got something pretty special going for him. Uh, what were the challenges of just... Uh was the closest rink was it far away like what were some of the challenges of growing up in the small town and just finding ice and, and so forth yeah I think I wouldn't say there was too many challenges when it came to the game of hockey per se um, I was lucky enough to have a key to the rink uh, in town and it wasn't the nicest rink don't get me wrong uh, there's probably some cattle in there right now uh, but I think uh, I think for the most part uh, you know that almost made me better right the creativity going out there with you know Morgan and Noah trying to just play in shinny, play in shinny with my buddies. Um, so having a key to the rink, uh, it wasn't too far. It was uh, probably three blocks away. So uh, definitely very fortunate for that. How did you get a key, I guess? Uh, yeah, my dad was part of the, the board. Uh, he definitely took care of some of the rink too, you know, caretaker, um, 
flooded the ice whenever he could. Uh, definitely helped out around the town. Uh, Strathclair Community Rink.